Hi lovies, it's Kelly with Beach Pilates and Wellness and Pilates by Kelly. We are gonna do an arm series this morning. So we're gonna um, take it to the mat, but you wanna make sure that you don't have any shoulder impingements or if you have any kind of instability in the upper back or shoulder, just to be super careful, find a sturdy surface to be on. Um, if you feel like you can't be on your wrist, you can always go down on your forearms. I'll talk you through the modifications, but let's get started. All right, we're gonna start with planking. And everybody always makes that, oh, because everyone hates them. Just find a flat surface that you can keep your, your wrist really stable. If you don't feel like you're comfortable to put your wrist down and hold your body weight, go down on your forearms and just interlace your fingers. Try to get from here to here and your lats down your back. So I'll show the modifications too. You're just gonna put your palms underneath your shoulders and you're just gonna bring yourself out to that plank. So what everyone tends to do is this or this when they're planking. You wanna keep your core tight and elongate through your spine. So you kinda of should feel like the crown of your head is reaching away and you gotta get those lats down your back. So you wanna kinda of squeeze those upper back muscles and you just hold. Just this isometric motion or stabilization helps to get those muscles to fire and stabilize you. Okay, three, two, and one. Drop to your knees, just shift back onto those heels and release the shoulders for a second. All right, we're gonna go back up again. The modification is to come down on your forearms and you can do the same thing. Sometimes this feels a lot more stable, just make sure you're not just sinking down. If you're getting into that lower back, you don't have your abs tight enough. So really deep in and draw those shoulder blades away and hold. Breathe through it. Three, two, and one. Bend the knees, come back off your hips. Sit on those heels if you can. Walk your knees out if you need a little bit more resistance and space to sit back. All right, we're gonna come back up. One more set into those planks. Again, set yourself before you go. And we're just gonna hold, try to get to 15 seconds this time. Long extension, lower the lats, engage the belly. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees are gonna bend, and again, just come off those shoulders for a second. If you need to bring them back around and sit them back on your heels, on your feet, you can. All right, we're gonna do a modified push-up. Put your knees right underneath your hips. Put your wrists underneath those shoulders again. All right, so these are always hard because women don't have as much upper back and upper body strength. So just go where you can, bend your elbows, push to extend. Remember you wanna keep your elbows close to the body. Don't let them flip out. Again, find where you're stable in those wrists. Bend it in, push it out, and then one more. Bend in, push it out. Good, you're gonna walk your knees in. We're just gonna do a little cat and cow. You can go up on the top of your fist to scoop and round into that deep cat stretch. And then exhale as you sink it down. Good, so inhale, scoop. You really wanna get into the upper back muscles and really pull those abs in tight. You should be hollowing out the belly. And then sink it down. Draw the shoulder blades down, tailbone reaches away. Two more, scoop and round. And sink. Good, last one. Inhale, scoop. And then you've got your exhale. All right, a really good one is a side plank. So again, trying to find the stabilization on the wrist is sometimes a little tough. So if you wanna go on your, on your palm, you can turn your fingers away from you. If you feel better on your elbow and to get into those lats again, find that stabilization from here. So you're gonna lift from here, not so much from here. All right, push through your feet and you're just gonna find your balance. So this should be really working hard. Just find that stabilization and that control. Three, two, and one. Bend your knees, bring it down. Another modification, if you feel like you can't get yourself up, is to come up and push through your knee to help you lift so that this rib cage is lifting away from you. And you can do the same thing and focus on this lat, doing the work and that stabilization. This leg is gonna help you stay lifted so you don't sink so much into it. All right, the harder way, put your palm down, push to lift, and then reach that rib cage away. So you can always work up to that. Don't feel intimidated to start there. Again, it's always really hard on the wrist if you don't have the stability in the upper back. So this is perfect, is just to stay here. And if you always want that extra little stretch, 
you can take it over. Good. We're gonna go one more, just to make it even five. Good. All right. Switch your sides, so make sure you always do the other side. All right, so remember, elbow goes under the rib cage. You wanna start lifting right away. Stack your feet, use your abs to lift and hold control really get that lat to engage down the back okay tap it down push through that knee if you need that modification and hold good and then remember you can go up on your palm and go into that big long side stretch if you want again go where you're comfortable don't force yourself to go somewhere where you're not ready and then one more time reach it up and then take that big long side stretch over Good. and then just bring it back. All right, we're gonna come up in mermaid. So if you can put one leg forward and one back to your side, that's perfect. If you can't, Indian style is perfect also. So just be careful if you have any hip or knee limitations, you're gonna go into that big side stretch. Try to keep this opposite sits bone down. So think of pushing that hip to the mat as you reach. Good, inhale up. Exhale, reach and extend long side stretch you want that reach out of that rib cage this guy should feel like it's reaching far good inhale up and then exhale we're gonna go back to each side one more time good use it as that big stretch and last one up and over deep lateral flexion use your inhale to come back up and that's class for your arms i hope you loved it we'll see you in the next one for your legs